guys wondering why I'm standing outside in the middle of a Canadian winter in just my t-shirt? Well, I'm so hot after our home workout. I don't know if you guys know, but we recently moved to Toronto, Canada, and here in Canada, you gotta do a 14-day quarantine, which means you can't leave your apartment building, you can't go outside other than on the balcony if you have one. So you gotta get creative, and we're doing home workouts. And always after my home workouts, I'm so dang sweaty and hot, so there's nothing better than coming out here, enjoying the views, and cooling off. Hey, I actually haven't told you guys why we decided to move to Toronto, Canada. A lot of you guys might think that we are crazy. We kind of think that we're crazy that we left the freedom of Finland to come and move to Toronto in the middle of a lockdown during all this COVID-19 stuff. So let's go inside and uh, let's have some storytelling time. So the reason why we decided to move to Toronto goes back to last fall. Uh, sometime probably around October, my brother calls me and says, hey, I've been thinking for a long time about who I should hire next, and I thought that you would be the perfect fit for everything that I need. He said he needs someone to help film with him, be in the videos, shoot photos, help him with his social media channels, and pretty much just to be an assistant in everything that he's doing. And he's offered me in the past, or you know, jokingly said, hey, you should come work with me or move back to Canada. But I've always just said like, nah, uh, our life is now in Finland. We've set our roots down there. We've bought a home there. And I've just brushed off the idea. But last October when my brother called me and offered me a job with him, at first I was kind of like, nah, I don't know about this. We're already settled down in Finland. But then my wife Vera said, are you sure? Have you really thought about it? But the more I thought about the offer, I realized that this actually could be a great opportunity. You know, Vera and I, we don't have kids yet, so we still have that flexibility where we can just pick up and move across the world. Whereas if we had kids, it would be a lot harder to do. And personally, I hadn't been around in Toronto for many years, so I thought it would be an awesome opportunity to be around family. The last time I've lived here in Toronto was back in 2014 when Vera and I were still engaged and I was working here in Toronto to make money for the wedding. And so it's been almost six years since we've lived in Canada, and it's been two years since I've last seen my family because of everything going on with here with Corona. So I thought, okay, working with my brother for one year would be an awesome opportunity to be closer to family before we start a family in Finland, have kids and all that stuff. The second reason why I thought this would be an amazing opportunity would just be to grow. Uh, I've noticed that whenever you're doing a lot of photography and filmmaking on your own a lot, it's harder to learn and to grow. And I found that always working with someone else, you learn so much from the other person and you rub off on each other. And I thought that it would be awesome to learn from my brother Maddie about photography, filmmaking, how, about how to run a business, all the things that he's really excelled at in the past few years. So I thought it would be an awesome opportunity to really learn and grow and get better at what I do when it comes to all things related to photography, filmmaking, and running a creative business. And the third reason why I thought, and this is in no way a serious reason, but a fun reason to move to Toronto, Canada, and that is the food. I don't know about you guys, but I personally love food and I love food from all the parts of the world. And one thing that's amazing about Toronto is, is that everyone from all around the world lives in this one city. Just recently on this quarantine, we discovered Uber Eats. And when you go to the Uber Eats app, you can pretty much find every kind of food possible. And I'm just so excited about living here in the city, being able to try different foods, experience different cultures, because the downside of living in a smaller town in Finland with only 60,000 people is, is there's, there's not that much culture. There's not that many varieties of food and different kind of ethnicities. Whereas here in Toronto, you have everything you could ever imagine. Just let me show you, let me get my phone and let me show you what you can find on Uber Eats alone. So when you look at the Uber Eats app, Quickly, I can see there's Korean, Greek, Mexican, Halal, Caribbean, ramen, Italian. You can do healthy food, wings, alcohol, Middle Eastern, Vietnamese, American, fish and chips, vegan, Asian, barbecue, breakfast and brunch, Filipino, bakery, Portuguese, Persian, Jamaican, African, comfort food, sandwich, seafood, Ethiopian, Nigerian food, Afghan food, 
the list doesn't just stop. Uh, there's so many different kind of varieties of food that you can try out here in Canada. So yeah, that's in a nutshell why we decided to move to Toronto, Canada. Just to be closer to family and to take on this opportunity to work with my brother, Matty. And I know for some of you guys, you guys might think we are crazy. And in some ways we are a bit crazy that we gave up the freedom that we had in Finland to move all the way over to Canada where right now with everything going on with COVID-19, there's more lockdowns and restrictions here. So we gave up the freedom back home to move here. And some people would think that we're really crazy to do that. But for Ver and I, we've both been the types of people that we want to live a life adventure. And when an opportunity comes and knocks at your door, we would rather say yes and take it and try it out and see what it leads you to, rather than just taking the easy route and saying no and staying in what's comfortable and safe. We've always wanted to live a life of adventure. So in some ways, even though Toronto is my hometown, moving back here, uh, is a little bit more scary than staying in Finland because in Finland we have a home, everything's comfortable and easy there. Whereas now moving back to Toronto, it's like starting all over again and everything's all new. So yeah, this is gonna be one adventurous year. Stay tuned for videos on this channel about life here in Toronto and as well, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my brother's channel where you guys can follow our fun adventures together. All right, I think we're gonna have movie and pizza night since we are on our last days of quarantine, so it's time to celebrate. I decided to go with a childhood classic two for one pizza, and we have a pepperoni, bacon, green peppers, and hot Italian sausage pizza. Gotta love greasy North American pizza. All right guys, have a good night.